What's going on, everybody? I'm Sha. This is the Dollar Tree. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Yes, appreciate everybody for watching the YouTube algorithm. They still on my back about hitting that like button, hitting the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you know when we upload a new video, make sure you hit all. Anybody see Zillica? Right. Hit that like button. You know, I, listen, I'm going to be looking for a new setup to try and, to try and encourage some likes on these videos for the new viewers all right i'm gonna try and try my best to make sure also that it is a coin that is easily accessible on most exchanges all right if there's nothing available in that respect for the people who are not traders or on exchanges i am keeping that in mind however on the patreon you know i will be giving you guys tips and tricks on how to manipulate these exchanges and things like that to your benefit so you have access to these uh, more exclusive coins all right in this video I'm basically gonna be running down questions I have fell behind all right far far behind when it comes to answering questions from you guys in the comment section so I'm just gonna answer a few questions here uh, I, I have my trusty phone I'm gonna run them down I transferred them over here uh, but before we get to that, the first thing I want to say is, you all, you guys already know I appreciate the subscribers. Absolutely. But now that we're extremely close, remember what I said, we were close before. Now we're extremely close to 500 subscribers. Okay. So if you are a current subscriber and you want us to set the Patreon up now, all right. Announcements, announcements, an announcements. I said I was going to make a special announcement on Friday but I'll give you something today there will be of course I'm gonna give you you know all the tools to make passive income and money in a down market on the patreon I'm sure you're excited about that I mentioned that before but there's gonna be exclusive content as well special for the patreon users you know so keep that in mind I will reveal I will reveal what that is in tomorrow's video all right now let's get to these questions um, and let's see what anybody has to ask. Now I will be also going over some older questions because I just want to make sure that I, I, I gave a thorough answer and I answered the entire question that was asked of me. So let's start with uh, a question where it said, what are some of your top picks uh, for new altcoins? I answered that, right? I, I pretty much gave you guys that. Uh, more specifically, which cryptos are you avoiding? Uh, I think I kind of gave that too, but you know, just to reiterate on that, anything under 30 million, 30, 35 million is a stretch. All right. Now I know injective protocol is the new kid on the block. You know, a lot of people are excited about it. I will get more into that in tomorrow's video, uh, specifying my position on injective protocol. Now, from time to time, yes, there are certain coins from time to time that you can, you know, dip down, reach down and grab one of those 10, 15 million dollar market caps. And the next thing you know, it's 200 million dollars in the bull run up. That could very well be injective protocol. But again, I don't like to take those specific type of risks. Let's continue. Uh, whether it be FUD or or what coin token type seems logical, logically questionable, excuse me, what coin slash token type seems logically questionable to you? All right. <laughs> like I said, in previous videos, I've discussed a criteria that I laid out slightly, not fully, but slight criteria for what it is when I'm making a decision as far as investing and choosing coins. Now, logically, it, it, it makes logical sense for me that I do not gamble with the majority of my money. I think it is imperative and dutiful for myself um, that the majority of my portfolio is geared toward coins that are not going anywhere. All right. They are solidified. They are medium to high cap. Uh, there are also coins that everyone else is also trading or they have a product behind it or they are ingratiated into creating and building the systems for blockchain to solidify itself and move forward into the future of finance, i.e. ZeroX Protocol, Zillica, Chainlink, uh, Atom, and all the source. Okay, coins of that ilk. So, now uh, let me continue down with this uh, uh, loaded question. Um, 
He says that he's got a lot of flack from considering governance tokens. The ICO buyers seem to be uh, the only ones for them. Meanwhile, the yield farmers, day traders, as such, seem to avoid them like plaque. Thoughts on XYO and Pi. I will get to that in another video answering questions on XYO and Pi. But again, I will narrow it down to if these coins are low cap coins, I, I for the most part, try my hardest unless it's a really good product with really good potential i stay away from them or i wait till they get to a certain point before i decide to invest in them he also asked um about the bitcoin black project look anything that is see even when it's at a certain market cap you know it, it, it's a gamble you know it's a belief that it's going to pick up steam and people are going to get behind it now, what I need, what I try to explain, uh, it is, is it is a need for me to explain that a lot of these projects are market driven. They are hype driven. You can have the best, most promising project that's going to help crypto become like this new quantum supercomputer, uh, think it with your brain, no hands needed type stuff. But if people aren't behind it, if people don't believe in it, it's not going to go very far. You know, that's why... You, some products that aren't as good as others will sell more because people just prefer it or like it. You know, the psychology behind crypto in that respect, how the markets are not connected directly uh, to the company as far as what the price action decides it does, you know, as I you know repeatedly stated on this channel, is a great example of that. But uh, that's pretty much it on, uh, on that one. Uh, would you invest, what project would I invest in Bitcoin Black? Bitcoin Black, um, I would have to elaborate more on that, but in a short sense, no. Everything has to reach a certain point for me before it's considered. Um, and you know, it, you, I've stated in previous videos about my criteria for that, that market cap range and how is it contributing? And you know, is it on major, multiple major exchanges? Um, now somebody was asking me about, you know, Bitcoin holding B BTC or any other cryptocurrency projects, um, wh which ones seem questionable long-term uh, okay, I have no desire to hold Bitcoin. Um, I might or might not trade it, but I have no desire to hold Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, like I don't care to hold any cryptocurrency. And here is why. Bear market, bear market. If I do not get into these coins at a low, low, low price, I am going to look to dump it and take profits and reinvest at the in the bear cycle, plain and simple. Now, for most people, that's too much work for them. You know, they have regular things going on in life and that is a dedication factor that is needed to, to manage and put together your portfolio in that respect, okay. Uh, very understandable but remember my word is not bond my word is not the end all be all all right my word is not the be all end all end all be all uh that is just my perspective because my goal let's talk about my quick goal my goal is to increase my dollar amount i have no desire to say i have x amount of coins i have this coin one whole bitcoin blah 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 i have the desire to look over and say, I have millions of dollars, that is my desire, to say I have millions of dollars in liquid. Now, the great thing about stable coins, they are secure and you can store them onto your cold wallet, all right? You can put them in cold storage. And I like that idea early on until I reach a certain um, uh, value, uh, net worth value, liquid, liquid cash, okay? Uh, spendable cash, liquidable cash, until I reach that point and I'm early into the market, those two factors have to come into play. I have no desire. All right. So what, what would change that? Okay. If I was a multimillionaire and um, Bitcoin was $3,000, I would hold Bitcoin. No problem. Because I know I would never lose money on my investment, even in a bear cycle. Right. If I bought Bitcoin at $100, $1,500, that is exactly what I mean. Ethereum at 50 bucks, 70 bucks, 80 bucks. You know, in the next bear cycle, Ethereum will probably come back down to $300, right? Or maybe even 250. Um, and I don't think buying at that 150, 200, and $300 range 
is worth it to hold through a bear cycle when Ethereum has the potential to run up past $1,500. And that goes for many of these altcoins as well. All right. So that that's just my perspective. You know, I choose to manage uh, things a certain way in that respect so that I can reap the benefits of investing and being involved, be, having that exposure to the crypto markets within a shorter time frame. All right. So instead of me waiting years to get the kickback and constant investing, I rather to um, do some things that I will let you guys in on on the Patreon. All right. And I'll get to that at the end of the video. All right, so someone always asked me, could you please do a video on which coins are likely to hold their value and increase while Bitcoin does this 30% correction, which is done every now and then in the past. I would expect it to do it again soon for those who are not trading. Okay, um, that's a good question. I answered that in a previous video actually about the money flow and how you'll never be able to tell which coins are going to hold their value. However, you can also tell which ones aren't going to be hit as hard due to that bullish pattern, right? If they're gonna run up and they're gonna run hard, that's just what it is. They're gonna run hard. Now, like a link, they may only get hit 10, 15%. They're not gonna hit, they're not gonna get hit 35, 40, 50%. Some coins just are not gonna do that because again, they have a strong backing and a lot of people waiting to buy at good prices. So when you see links swinging down around that 12, $11, 10 range, it gets soaked up quick because everybody knows it's a strong project. They are solidified in the cryptocurrency space and they will be here for the long run. All right, let me see what else I got. All right, last but not least, um, in the next uh, videos regarding answering questions, I will talk about my thoughts on NFTs, uh, my thoughts on um, uh, MakerDAO and their suite of DeFi products. I think, listen, they've been in the, they were one of the first to really get this off the ground and get it propelled and running consistently and that you know they that the ability to collateralize ethereum was a very big deal you know albeit uh difficult to learn um i think once you do it is um it's a very good thing um i, I would update uh on the zill thing but that's already up uh someone also asked me about um I'm actually gonna do a video about the exact coins of why I'm not gonna, you know, invest in them now. I'm actually gonna get to that as well. Someone asked about four Duck Dow, um, um, DS, DSLA protocol, Pi, and XYO. Okay, so I'll get to the NF, uh, NFT coins, Duck Dow, Make uh, Maker Dow, um, XYO, Pi, and DSLA in the next questions video and that'll pretty much wrap up all the questions and i will be i would have paid all my debt i would have paid all of my debt and that's pretty much it okay um last but not least let me run back to that so now now that we got that those upcoming videos we got injective protocol coming tomorrow we're gonna have sushi update we're gonna have a swipe update all right algorand update coming as well and then another questions video now to this point about not investing in certain coins at this point. For my strategy, which when you guys join the Patreon, uh, my strategy calls for me to stick to a particular set of coins, right? Because if I understand, now here's the thing about learning how to trade as well, all right? We're in overtime now, we're in overtime. Here's the thing about learning how to trade. I think for, for, from my personal experience, you're better off reaping the benefits of dealing and trading a specific set of coins. If you're a beginning beginner, no more than two, three coins, because if you're reading the charts, you're learning to read the charts, it is best that you stick to those charts for the meantime to maximize your ability to be profitable and make good trades in and out of the market. Okay, that's that's it. So right now for me, I'm, I'm specifically uh, I'm focused on a specific set of coins of buying i ain't gonna get i'll give all of it away on the patreon i'll give you the whole shebang passive income strategies the whole shebang right but yes i'm i'm not interested in that right now because the in and out of the market now i understand that you guys are much different so i'm gonna have to speak it uh and give a perspective uh based around that okay um new coins i'm hesitant on of course because new coins come up they come down that happened now if your new coin does this, 
you better pray that it's a strong coin like a Uniswap that have more like that has the more likelihood of potential to run up with the rest of the market as opposed to those lesser um, coins and that 20, you know, $20 million less market cap. You guys have to keep that in mind. Um, you know, I stated this in a not too um, a not too old video about how you know some of these people in 2018 were throwing money at all these alts because they thought, oh, they're just gonna run up again, 60x next bull run, run up again, 60x. These coins barely even recovered 20% uh, of their losses, you know, if that overall losses. You know, coins that have to go up, as I showed in one of the recent videos, coins that really have to go up 100,000% to recoup the losses. Listen to what I'm saying. They have to go up. They have to appreciate in value 100,000% because of how far they've fallen in value from their 2018 highs, right? So just giving you guys that. Now, this, this whole conversation is exactly why I came up and asked you guys about what do you think I should call the video series coming to the channel? I said guaranteed money was what was uh, thought up by the Dollar Tree. But if you have something better, let us know. And this guaranteed money is going to allow us to lay out these coins on the table for you long-term holders. You know, those, those long-term, put it to the side, good entry point investors, right? We'll go over the charts and all that and talk about what energy points are good and remember let the market tell you when to invest don't force your way into the market because all you do is pro, pro, postpone your ability to take profits in a two three four five six ten fifteen year period all right you want to make sure those cryptos will be around in ten to fifteen years as well also understand that uh you might have to change your portfolio as well after ten years because uh, you know the market changes rapidly, and we were talking about blockchain technology and finance. You know who's popular, who's not popular, who has the best suite of products. You know when you talk about you know as aforementioned uh, MakerDAO and their collateralization of Ethereum and other other suite of products. We're talking about True USDT with True uh, TrueFi or whatever it is. Excuse me if I'm messing that up. You know I'm, I'm a, you know Chico Crypto did a video on TrueFi. And you know their liquidity pools and their investment pools for people to come in. You know, you know, you, Cred LBA, which is a lesser known, they were one of the first to do this, where you give them their cryptos to loan out to people, and they give they give you an interest rate on that. All right, so those DeFi products have been around, and whether they succeed or not, with the with people believe in the coin is really going to be based on popularity which is, you know, that's capitalism, you know, that's, that's, that's free market. So investing into advertising your coin and your product is very important. So when you're investing in these, make sure they have the connections to corporations and or countries to supply, um, to supply um, uh, blockchain solutions for their companies and or country and or otherwise. But that's all I got for you guys today. Ah, this video is hella long and random, ram rambling. Um, Injective protocol tomorrow and maybe either sushi or swipe update. I have to check the video list and I will see you guys in the next video